Do you think it, uh, it's connected with the development of a language, the formation of memories? Does it correspond to where the brain starts to grasp? A lot is being learned about language acquisition. The more intensively the topic is studied, the more sophisticated the research techniques, the more we learn that children know quite a lot of language, much more than you would expect, before they can exhibit any of that knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, a direct evidence about this, and there's also indirect evidence. So just to mention some of the indirect evidence, there is a, a technique of uh, teaching language to the deaf-blind. Actually, my wife did a lot of the work on this. It's called the Tadoma method. It's with your hand. Well, what they do is uh, teach the person to put their hand on someone's face and using the motions of the face and the vocal cords to interpret what you're saying. There's extremely little, very little information comes through. But people get a very satisfactory knowledge of language from that. I mean, so much so that uh, you have to do pretty complex tests to see what they don't know. However, they have never succeeded in using this method for uh, people who lost sight and hearing before about 18 months old. What seems to be the case is that during the early exposure, where the child is not manifesting very much knowledge, maybe producing a word or two word sentences, they're acquiring the basic character of the language, quite a lot of knowledge, which they can then build on when they, it's unconscious of course, but they can build on it when they get this later instruction, which has very little evidence. And they can, in fact, uh, uh, live in a society where people are talking and uh, they can understand what they're saying if they can put their hand on your face. In fact, I, I should say that, you know, one of the most striking things about language, which has really not been studied, just consider an infant, you know, a one-day-old infant. Uh, the infant, ha there's all kind of things going on in the world. How does the infant figure out what part of what's going on in the world has to do with language. It's an incredible feat. No, no, no other organism can uh, do it. I know, you know what, you know what, when I grew up, uh, we used to believe in reincarnation. Yeah. Which, reincarnation. Which is, it's oh, a, it's a fairy tale, but I think it, it make me look to a, be, a new being as a fully completed person. That's Plato. That's Plato's theory of remembrance. He, uh, he was puzzled by the question of how you know so much. And he said, well, you must remember it from an earlier life. <laughs>